go. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na. Dance across the floor. Hi, I'm Philip Nelson for GeekBeat TV, and I'm getting ready to show you how you can give birth to that DJ growing inside of you for less than $100. I'll start by warning you, I am not a DJ, and I do not play a DJ on television. I have had the need to curate some music for parties, and wanted more flexibility and polish than just playing iTunes on a playlist. Well, I give you iDJ to go by Ion. It's an ultra compact DJ controller that integrates with the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch, and it retails for around $79.99. One of the things I like about it is it, no batteries required. Just simply plug it in to the digital port on the bottom of your iPad and you're actually ready to go. You'll see on the interface of the idj to go there are two turntables. There's a browse knob so that we can actually, while uh, we're working, we can uh, say I want to load something into deck A. I hit A. I can use the browse knob to select a song. And I'm going to do something by They Might Be Giants. And we hit Enter. That loads in a song into deck A. Um, we can go hit, hit load B, pick another song. And because I am schizophrenic, I'm going to go from Anna Ng and They Might Be Giants to Amarillo by Morning from George Strait. So we hit enter, and that actually loads in your music. Now I'm going to go ahead and warn you. For us to shoot this review, we don't have it set up in a normal DJ fashion. Normally you would have this connected to your iPad, and you would have a special connector that comes with this device, which is a DJ splitter or a DJ Y cable. And what it allows you to do is take one plug out of your headphone jack, and one of the plugs goes to your headphones, and then one goes out to the uh, sound system. And what that actually allows you to do is to set up your music before it starts playing. So I could actually listen to my headphones what's coming next while the crowd is still listening to uh, Anna Ng by, by uh, George Strait. But other than that, I'm going to show you the basic functionality. So we want to hear song one. We have a little mixer here. Do we want to hear deck one? or deck two, or A or B, um, we can hit play, and it's gonna play a little Anna Ng by They Might Be Giants. We have a cue mode, so if there's a certain cue in a song, you can set a cue mode, and whenever you wanna go back to that point, you just hit Q, and it'll go back there. Also, it has a beat sync. So what this does is it tells me that Anna Ng is at 133 beats a minute, um, Amarillo by Morning is at 121, and if, as from a DJ perspective, you don't wanna just shock your listeners by just changing the beat count so drastically. So you can actually hit sync and it actually, you can hear what just happened. It dropped Anna Ng down to 121 and when we go over to Amarillo by Morning, which is playing, ah, oh, that was so pleasant. Doesn't that just make you want to grab your lady and head out to the dance floor for a little two-step? But anyway, it is really cool. There's some nice features. Um, we also have a pitch bend. So if you love pitch bending George Strait, here we go, listen. Oh, it's Alvin and the Chipmunks. And then you let go and it goes back to normal. That helps you transition. Also, you'll hear, you know, we can actually slow it down or speed it up. And, and each deck has its own custom controls. The Ion IDJ to go also works with third-party software like DJ by Algorithm, and it is available now for under $80 from your local music retailer. Buy this, have it in your backpack, and be ready for that spontaneous party when you need to rock the DJ booth and impress the ladies. Check out more awesome product reviews and cool videos from Callie and the other band of crazies here at GeekBeat TV at youtube.com slash geekbeat TV. I'm Philip Nelson for GeekBeat TV. Join us here for more awesome music product reviews.